what's up guys <laughs> sorry i on. it's 8 54 at night right now anyways what's up guys it's Haley bailey and today we're going to be doing a brand new video and today we're going to be doing makeup monday and and um we're going to be making a beaded stress ball so as you can see i got new glasses today mm -hmm. so um uh, Let's get into the video. So, what you're going to be needing for this stress ball um, is a maloon, which I'm using a yellow one. I'm kind of going to go find my other ones. And I will be right back. Okay, I couldn't find them. Excuse me. I couldn't find them, so yellow it is. Not too happy about that. But, you're also going to need a funnel and, of course, beads. So mine are all in this bucket because my last beaded stress ball popped. So this should be pretty easy for me, but for you guys, um, they're not in a bucket either. Dump them out of whatever they came in, or you can skip them out with a spoon. That's literally that easy. Sorry if my glasses aren't straight. I haven't like they're <laughs> they really don't stay straight, honestly. Anyways, so you're gonna put your balloon on the funnel. Now it could be filled with air which it probably is going to be filled with air i'm just saying as you can see boom okay so anyway now once you have your balloon on the funnel or whatever you're using it doesn't have to be an actual funnel of course it could be like um paper plate paper anything that you can make into a funnel um you're just going to pour in your beads so I'm going to do mine now. So these beads that I'm actually pouring in are kind of a little bit discolored because they've been rubbed around in my other stress ball a lot of time. So now, um, if they're not going in all the way, just shake it up and down, but don't spill any out. But it's very important that you do not do that. As I just did that. <laughs> As I just did that, and these make your fingers purple. So, that's amazing. Um, I have like a pencil gun here that I don't really use anymore. It will be an eraser. Um, yeah, eraser. So, I think I'm just gonna push them down in here with this. Right, you can make sort of push your beads down. Okay, um, they're not going down anymore, but it's not full. <laughs> There's a bead down. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna sort this out, and as you can see, the pencil's turning purple. So I'm gonna sort this out really quickly. Guys, I poured the beads out, and look, there, there's two stuff together right there, so I'm just gonna try and pop them apart using the pencil there we go okay that back to business baby um that's probably why they were going in when i was shaking them obviously but um i'm squeezing it from here as they go now and oh my god we have another Flaws. Oh my god. Same thing happened here to read that stuff. Um, so we're going to try not to let that happen. Um, now we're almost out of beads to put in here, and it's actually getting pretty full. So I'm just going to push the beads that are in it right now all the way down, and then I'm just going to finish. I'm putting the rest of the beads in as they won't go down any further or if it gets them get down just like dab it with a pencil or something pointy so you, or anything basically so you can get the jam out and then only get down basically if there are um there are two that are jammed together it's really the only way they can possibly get jammed unless your balloon is full but now i have all my beads in my balloon i'm gonna take my balloon off and put that over there so, I might not want to do this, but, you know, what's going to go wrong? So, now you want to, um, blow up your balloon a bit. Now, um, when you 
like let the air out, hold it over your hand, and don't do it in your mouth. You don't want to choke on the beads if any come out at all. Then slowly let the air out like this as well. So now your beads are all in here. So you could add like some lotion or something or anything that you wanted to add to make it a bit softer. So I just put a bit of water in mine just so I could wash the beads off a little bit. And then I dumped the water off because water is not very good. I'm just saying. So I'm going to blow it up again because there's still some in the neck of the balloon. I'm gonna hold it and slowly let it go. Okay, now, so once you have all your beads in and you have it filled to the way you want, you're just going to normally tie the balloon up like this. Okay, try, actually try to get as much air out of it as you can, as you possibly, humanly, humanly, as you possibly humanly can, and then tie it up. Okay, so if you have this long neck, and even if you don't, you still might want to do this. Um, take your scissors, I use it, which mine are right here, and just cut off the little neck of the balloon. Now, don't cut it too close, but you want to cut it close to the knob, but not. Way too close, but too close. Um, see, I have some bad scissors, and this is all knotted up. So, boom. Okay, so now you have your DIY bead stressful. Um, yeah. So this was really fun to make. Also, if you want a tutorial or how to make these comment down below so, anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to like subscribe and hit that notification bell the ding the ding i'll see you guys next time goodbye